folks, Master Kalex here, and I'm going to be doing my own little mini commentary of DBZA episode 30. I don't know why I said mini, it's pretty much the same thing as you saw with the boys, but it's going to be my little take on it. This episode is quite a big one. This is only like a couple of episodes after I managed to nail the Goku voice, you know, so I was sort of getting into the groove with it. And not long after this, we were then going to be doing the Cooler movie, which will obviously be covered by Kaiser and Lanny, and we were now starting to get the general idea about what we would do for that one, because I think we recorded this, and then we did 31, and then we did the Cooler movie. I'm going to take you through the entire episode and give you my little takes on it, so that means you can then splice it together, like a Dragon Ball fusion, with the other two. And if you are curious about what I get up to, you can subscribe to my channel here. I do loads of Dragon Ball What Ifs. Let's get straight into episode 30, and... Martin's Dragon freezer Ball, is just Z, so good, Dragon I mean, GT it was such an honor to Funimation, bounce Italian off of Animation, his freezer TV, for Goku. The last couple Please episodes were really, really good fun. Release. Very Worst nice. Time and on Dragon Ball I really Z do bridge. feel like they made the right call with having this at the beginning of 30 instead of the end of 29. The whole... it just makes it more special in a way. And Earth, you'll understand as we go through it with all the different performances that we go through, that this was probably the best thing to do. And okay, now... I'm going to be talking a lot about this sequence in particular because this was the one I remember the most. A lot of the things I've just sort of faded away into background memory, but this sticks out very clearly. And this took four hours, this episode, to record just for my lines. I think with Gohan, I mean, the Gohan lines were relatively easy. With the Goku ones, we stressed over it a lot. Well, by we, I mean me, mostly. So, you, this, you kill my best friend. This thing was inspired from Master Kanazawa in the original dub going like, Yorasa, Yakuma. Just that kind of thing. It really needed to be that visceral and angry and just like quiet. That quiet rage sells it more in my opinion. So that's what I brought to the table here. So you just get this real angry feeling and cause, come on, his best friend's been killed. So of course he'd be annoyed by it. And this was really, really painstakingly obvious we had to get this right. And I was telling Kaiser, do not make fun of this. Don't you make fun of this, because this is very important. I've been looking forward to this ever since we started. And yeah, here comes the big one. Hey. Now, okay. This, that scream, I listen back to it, and I'm like, oh, I still think it could have been done better like 10 years later in the future. That took 25 takes. And I remember Kaiser getting to the point of like, dude, dude, are, are you sure that you want to keep going? Yeah, Kaiser, I need to get this right. I put so much pressure on myself and I really shouldn't have done that. And I really should not have done it 25 times. And I also should not have done that right at the beginning of the directing session. Nowadays, whenever I'm directing people or I'm being directed, I usually ask to do the really stressy and heavy lines right at the end. So that means my voice is relatively strong enough to do it instead of doing it right at the beginning. And then we've learned a lot since then. But, you know, overall, I'm still happy with it. But, oh, yes, I still really like that moment. That's, and that's not funny. <laughs> I still am going to be probably nitpicking loads of um, Kaiser's editing thing because I'm an editor myself. So... I do see some little tweaks and quirks and stuff that probably would have changed by now, but... Yeah. <laughs> uh, I do think that Kaiser's definitely improved his King Kai over the years. It's sort of become very... more natural in a way. And I still am really impressed with the way this is all done. And it's just like... how it evolves over time. Yeah. Still a banger. Chala Hechala is still something that really strikes well with me. So yeah. Very nice. Dragon Z abridged. And throughout all of this section, throughout all of this in the last couple episodes, it's just really good to kind of like improve upon how things go. And <laughs> I never I, I never really realized this, but Gohan's eyes are kind of goofy here. I mean, you get the serious Goku right here. And then you just got Gohan here go, Dad, Dad, is that really you? <laughs> Son, I'm trying to be serious here. But what about you? <laughs> kind of distracted me, actually. Yeah. Just like the bouncing off of here. 
well thought out for you. Gohan, now, I have to admit, right the Gohan voice here is shit. actually a lot higher than it normally is. Because normally the Gohan voice is kind of settled around here. Here, it's like higher than I remember. So I was really kind of went a little bit too far in a different direction. Because, like, in the beginning. Oh, okay. In the moment here. Like a kick a ball. And in an outtake, I would have gone the. <clears throat> like Go Goku's really about to enjoy himself here, so yeah, that was a little extra tidbit. But for the Gohan thing, I was really determined to differentiate him with Goku. And in the earlier episodes, you sort of had it like where I was too close in a way, and you, we can't forget this. What happened? What the hell are Can't you? Can't you tell, Freezer? Can't you tell, Freezer? Oh, yeah. Just Bagging on my accent there. No Damn you, Kaiser. Don't. Damn you, Kaiser. But hey, it's born something. I am and the, the light bulb, bulb in the darkness. darkness. I am the bacon in the, in the fridge for all living things that cry out in hunger. I am the alpha and the omega. I am the terror that flaps in the night. I am Son Goku. And I I am a super... Nowadays, I don't have that lisp, so that I'm just going to blame my audio equipment for that. <laughs> but still a good speech. I've committed that to memory now, and... King Kai, what's yeah. going on on Introduction for Valero proper. You, know, you could always just and... grab my shoulder and watch. Yeah, but yeah, you the... kind of smell... I do have to admit, the audio watch. levels in this bit? My yeah, I feel like Kaiser... Falero's audio levels were a little too high, so I do notice that. Sorry, edited brain on here, but... Oh, Remix. Remix is really good. I'm so glad that he gets loads of stuff to do for this. I'm, I'm really pleased about that. He's a pretty really good guy. I've worked with him a couple times on that. Yeah, little too loud there, buddy. Little too loud. But this is back when Kaiser was really starting to get into the flow of audio editing. Now he's just a natural. He's amazing with his audio mixing. And, yeah. It's a ship! Yeah, it's still really, like, quite See, high. I sort of went the We're other way home. direction. We're halfway home! Yeah, can't really do that nowadays, so it's like, <laughs> kind of like, God, yep, so nowadays I could not do that. I don't know how to fly the ship. Yeah, that's really yeah, true. So Gohan really before. didn't know. But then again, hang on. Surely, yeah, if Goku could pilot the ship, surely Gohan could figure it out. I mean, that, that's something I really thought about. It's like, surely he would have been able to do that, because, hey, if his dad could do it, I mean, Gohan, who's a nerd, he'd have been able to figure it out. And I have no idea. I can't, I've completely I forgotten how Bomber this ended up new, there, monkey. but this is yeah. Definitely new, so, but a monkey is still a monkey. I'm still glad that yeah, there are moments here day. where Goku millions. gets to be Literally serious, millions. even though it does have a little payoff, I, as you'll see in a little quips? bit. But Cat got your tongue? I felt this worked, no <laughs> and it just sort of improved upon the fact that so Freezer just got Super really Saiyan, angry about things and just like Lord he sort of set himself off well, made not. him look even more desperate you. instead of just having I that back and planet. forth this is planet. a bit more like Freezer in a way and then of course like Wait, I'll zone out there for a second, huh? yeah of course that that makes total sense because sort of like you know Goku's not really making much sense at that time but yeah I think I was still also now, trying to like figure out what I was doing What's with the voice, guy? like, you do I want to make it really super serious, or do I want to keep it just like regular Goku? So, yeah, as you might be able to tell throughout the entire episode, it's like, we're oh, not God, really serious. sure about I where to land it, but to we do figure out something, so. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Megami, Megami's Chiaotzu, that still gets me every time. Go on. Piccolo, everyone's dead, <laughs> oh. and I'm stuck with you idiots for the rest of my life. Should I call you back when you're done screaming? Well, that considering that King Kai lives for eternity in theory for thousands of years, that's a very long time. Yes, I wanted to inform you that Mr. Popo has acquired the sixth Dragon Ball and- You're alive? <laughs> so this is what counts for omnipotence these days. Mm. I love the back and forth. Dead, that's always that good. that means Piccolo's not dead, and Namek is still there. I, 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 90s, like, it, the 90s, like, artwork, painting for backgrounds and planets, it gets me every time. It looks so good. And there are moments, like, with the Nemec sequence, like, it just, the, the planet contorting itself, it just looks fantastic. Even though this is, like, 30 years old, it still looks good. Now we get to the really pointy, like, pointy hair and stuff like that, where it's all really weird. And... 
<laughs> Freezer looking like he has jowls or something. And that's Bertha! You see, like, I was kind of going for a little bit of a lower tone right here. Like, kind of going in a shemmel direction. But then we go back up to the higher range, so it kind of like goes, not really sure, like down here, and then really I gotta go back up here, so really superhero, or like that, so it, it kind of, it's a bit distracting, but it's just like, yeah, oh, and then suddenly Super Saiyan 2 there for some reason, yeah, I think they were still figuring out what was really going on here. If you let me power up, I'll give you a pizza, you killed my best Friend freezer, that's not gonna work anymore. Two pieces. pieces. I said I'm done. <laughs> We've stopped trust. And another shocking fact is, I hated pizza until I was 12 years old. Yep, I never ate a pizza until I was about 12 years old. And whenever Mum would put a pizza in the oven, I would hate it. What was I thinking? 24 years later, pizza is one of my favorites, and. I am actually a Hawaiian pizza fan, so stuffed crust Hawaiian, mmm, very nice. Now hear me out, King Kai. But just, the amount of pizzas that I've been offered at conventions is shocking. Like, I think almost every convention somebody offers me a slice of pizza because of this. And most of the time it isn't stuffed crust, but hey, any port in the storm, I'll take free food. Me <laughs> So in a way I'm kind of method acting, but not in the creepy Jared Leto way. But, <laughs> just the descent of Freezer's madness. It's the, it just shows like Martin's versatility here. <laughs> I'm not too sure whether anyone actually recorded for that or it's just generic monster voices. Oh, well, that, that's always so good when like the the vocals and the mouth flaps actually match up. I thought so. I thought so. I just love that response. Love it. I just love how easy it is to get away with this with you people. Yeah. I want to transform. You just sit there and let me. It's kind of true, actually, because a lot of Dragon Ball, they're not really heroes in traditional sense. They're reactive. They only respond if they themselves are being threatened. can I get a meat lovers? They really are still figuring out the hair, aren't they? The... Yeah. I don't even know why I no, they are reactive. They're not proactive heroes like you get in traditional superhero shows. They only respond when they're being personally attacked. So, yeah. Freezer, there's your explanation. Awesome. Now let me talk to him. If you insist. I can't quite remember why that was the case and why that happened. It's been a long time since I watched the original. But, yeah. It all works. It all makes sense in the traditional scope of it. I am the eternal dragon. Speak oh yeah, the first time Shenron's actually respectful oh, towards is people. You, my master. Is it time to lay waste to oh, this yeah. world? Eh, not yet. Give them a couple hundred years. See if they can clean this up. Then how yeah, the first time Popo's actually being rational to people. Popo. Good question. Popo. That's always good. What am I doing? Good question. King Kai, the f*** is he doing? Oh my head. Yeah. Okay, listen, I want you to bring back everyone Freezer and his men have killed. Why? Are you questioning God? Are you? <laughs> Not in the mood, Tommy! <laughs> That's always I'll a good little bit of dialogue. Anyway. Mr. Popo. I heard. Dragon, bring back all the worthless maggots that were killed by Freezer and his men, or whatever. As yeah. you command, so it shall be. And obviously at the end of this entire thing, you're going to find out the technicalities of it and the big payoff for season two. Well, one of the many big payoffs, to be fair. But, yeah. Ah! Ah! Oh, uh. right. I stopped my heart for a couple minutes there. Oh God! <laughs> oh, Tarka's guru is so good. I always pride myself as being like a discount Tarka, like you know, you know, voice of guru. No! <laughs> it's just like if any port in the storm, I usually find myself just like. Doing no voices for Tarka's characters a lot of the time, just in my head. Yeah, you know, just kind of realizing, hey, if you ever need Tarka, you just well, call me. I can do somewhat back, decently. Maybe just out of boredom. <laughs> yeah, you get the feeling this is like Lanny's now found his equilibrium with Vegeta, and pretty much this Vegeta is now pretty much where he is currently. And I have an idea. Yeah, that's always good. <laughs> well, now you're Super Saiyan soup. Or salad. I'm vitamin dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> a 
Oh, well, what's up with the sky? Yeah, it's, it's, it, it really still looks really move. good. It like, like two it's like tops. early 90s I stuff, but it just looks so good and like... Stop mm. that! Stop not dying! You think you're better than me? You're nothing but an overgrown monkey! And you're nothing but an <laughs> oh. overgrown that thing Chi Chi keeps in her drawer! I actually Man, didn't get that joke when I said it. It took me about a few oh, months and I was like, oh, I, I get it now. Hey, look, Freezer! A giant dragon! I mean, the what? giant dragon is, like, well, really began. distracting. A magical well, freaking back. dragon! Oh, I am become error. <laughs> so, like, best thing to do. Whip, you just pissed off already! I don't have to use the bathroom! I feel like I could have done that line slightly better. Oh, like, yeah, I don't, I don't so have to use the bathroom! It's just, it would have just been a bit more dynamic, but then again, yeah, I, I think, think we I'm weren't quite sure what shot we were actually going to use for that one, but... I think that's the first time Vegeta did his mind, 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 mind thing. Ah, the classic. Oh, my girl tense. Even though Goten never really showed up in DBCA. Ah, the whole password thing. Ah, Frieza, you should have really spoke for What? I still find that really good. It's just a really nice little Easter egg there. Something grounded in, like, space mythology. No, Taka's no, Dende is really, really so funny. Just the sass of it all, it, huh? and just but how it plays off with yeah. Gohan, but like... Yeah, good. Hope you're ready to party, because it's Vegeta <laughs> No, that's always good. No, 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 What just happened? Where did they all go? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm I actually just as lost, lost as you. you. Just like, yeah, of course Go Goku would be. He has no idea what's huh? going on. Are we? Huh? Mama, Gohan! It's a really good way of explaining how to get everyone back on Namek. We well, back from Namek to Earth. Ah, it's good to be the king. Uh, Hello? Who am I speaking to right now? My name it's kind of odd Dende. that it ends up with Dende, but yeah. Are you the one who made the wish on the dragon? I am. Now that's something I, I've every time I've seen this episode, I always kind of go like, Kaiser, why did he need to speak? It's like uh, uh, he was already talking through his head. He doesn't really need to move his mouth or anything. How Maybe it was just because it was on a still plan. frame or something. I don't really know. I just wanted to screw over Frieza. Yeah, that's always you know, funny though. It makes that it kind of makes up better, for it. I'm not immortal either. either, and I'm, I'm okay, okay with that. that. It's like, just, <laughs> just makes just sense really. <laughs> Goku's completely oblivious. And this is the thing in the cooler movie that they're referring to. Yeah. Yeah, but his was smaller. There we go. So Goku's answer to everything. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Any more planets? Um, no, that one. Huh. <laughs> Or of course, no please on a yellow day! Yeah. <laughs> Always a classic. <laughs> you get the feeling that just using the traditional music from the original series just really kind of adds to the authenticity of it. Oh. Yeah, we're really starting to get the group now. Heading into season three. It turns out we're all alive. Yeah, Gohan's voice in this is like a lot higher than I remember. But no. No. I think yeah, he's doing the Guru you. voice is Do not, not surprising. Is dear. it's not that hard actually. It's just you have to keep like the consistency of it. You know, looking around, it seems mm. like the only people who were bought back were those killed by Frieza and his men. Huh, well, that's convenient. <laughs> Sir. Well, of course, it's a very specific lunch. wish. Wait, you mean that one guy who really likes showing off his Dragon Balls? Oh, yeah, Linkara. <laughs> oh, Linkara's cameo, that was so good. Oh, wait, it was me. Oh, of course, the, that, I think that's the first introduction of, like, you know, Vegeta yeah, doing the whole kind of, like, you know, you. oh, yes, it's me with the thumb and stuff. Except him. Oh, yeah, Guru. He starts off dark, he has to go out dark. <laughs> I have to admit, that's probably one of the best edits I've seen Kaiser do. Like, that, no doubt, no question. That's definitely one of the 
best things that he's kind of edited. Just like how it kind of like the the framing of it, it actually felt like it sort of blended in well with the actual result. I'm sorry, my children, but I must leave you now. This is just completely different to what actually happened in the show. I must confess my sins. What do you mean? Just, Do you remember the great drought that befell our planet? Just really the confirmed everything that you saw race. from the Lord Slug yeah. movie, where you thought, wait, Guru's like the evil half? What? Yeah. I mean, you can find out more about that in that commentary, but yep, yeah, this is the big payoff. See, Turns out that Guru was the evil one all on along. One. Just a selfish fat git. <laughs> remember when I said they were the ones responsible for the disappearance of our precious oh, water? That, we oh, slaughtered that grain. thousands. It was me. Probably oh, escaped that grain in a way, but hey, what? that's just what you, you get. Think I got so fat? And now <laughs> just the I can silence of it all. Clear conscience. Uh, Interesting music oh, choice. I like it. Uh oh. Kill him! No! <laughs> now that was good too. Just the kind of like it was not like a really smooth, super smooth. It was slow, slowed down slightly. Get it all work. It's <laughs> like the how about even for juice like that. Oh yeah. Now this this bit was always good. This is, this bit was always fun to record for. I think this was then into the second session, the second two hour session that we did. Because he was getting really tired. I'm done. What? I'm done finding you. No, no, this was like towards the end of the first one. Yeah, because like, oh, you could tell I'm a little it. bit You're gravelly scared, with that. Aren't you? Afraid knowing that this planet only has one minute left before it explodes. Of course. Question. Question. Huh? Speaking for the fans here. No. It's like, why? yeah. Do you know what How a minute is? does Freezer tell what? time? Of course I do. I don't think you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna leave now. Just, just answering the question <sighs> that all the fans have been what? wanting to ask and are still asking you. to this day. You can't just. Yo, I think I noticed there was like a you know, bit of a continuity hey, error there, but oh well. We have to make do with what we got. Oh yeah, thanks for reminding me. Snicked. That's not a pizza. That's not a pizza. pizza. <laughs> now, now I felt that that was okay. I felt that that worked, but it was just like that's just huh? Goku's realization. It's like you it's promised me pizza and you, you didn't give it to me, there? and now you're messing with me. Of course he'd be angry. No, don't worry, I'm just. Not many what people like bees. On? Oh, bee <laughs> that could have been an additional thing. Well, no one really likes bees. Except beekeepers. No, if bees are their friends. Oh. Someone's gonna be their friend. <laughs> I ramble on a lot. Sorry about this. <laughs> yeah, Don't feel this... bad. Phil never hits anyone with it either. It's true anyway, facts though, true facts. Oh, far from it. I just remembered I promised you two pizzas. Now this whole sequence, it does have its comedic elements, but it just works really well as just like a genuine bit of action. Still gives me the excitement when I first saw this in like in 2000. It still really plays very well. Now say your story! Back in the day, everyone thought that this was an extreme and like awesome sequence. Are you sorry yet? I, I think, think I peed the little <laughs> The response is perfect. I am done. Freezer, look out behind you! I already told you that dream. Yeah, no, this was like definitely. Get down. Yeah, you can definitely tell the lisp here. I was sort of flagging for this one. Snicked. Daddy, I don't want to be on Namek Still one of the anymore. biggest twists. I mean, I remember when I first watched this bit, and it was just like, Ow, Oh, okay. <laughs> Did not you know, see that coming. Keep reacting, trying to prompt us to ask what's going on. Uh, Gone playing Tenshin Han right, is fine. just like the straight Freezer guy. Got cut in half. <laughs> Whoa! Wow. I didn't think Goku had it in him. He doesn't. Well, no, because otherwise that would have just been another nail in the coffin for Krillin. <laughs> Who needs Krillin if Goku could do the Destructo Ego. Disc? Daddy needs you. Wow, Freezer. You really were a cut above the rest. Classic puns. Oh, but too uh, bad you didn't make the cut. Oh, yeah. Guess you could call this a slice of life. Please stop. All right then, I'll cut you a break. I'm gonna split. They just like, does wait, two and wait, and then wait. Freezer doesn't even acknowledge I, it. I know I've done I like how that kind of like things. it buttonholes the joke. Quite a number of people, some of which you liked. I remember I, I did a fan dub of this bit, and it was just like when another. Goku being angry at him. You got some nerve, Freezer. Well, 
Uh, me and I. This is just. I'm not even asking anymore. Oh, uh, this is just one of those things like Goku, now Goku Freezer. You energy. don't, you don't, don't tell Freezer to be, or on the you know, to forgive him. You don't do that. But why? I'm gonna go now. Got a long trip home. That's I not an answer, Goku. Legs with me, but you're probably hungry too. Bye. Just, he just implies that everyone eats their own limbs if they're you know, hungry. It's all those survival stories. He misinterprets them. Me. Maybe this is a sign. Yeah, this Maybe definitely I was something change. when I thought about with the whole what Maybe if Weezer turned good scenario they did on my channel. And last Just like, how do you Maybe kind of go from here? I was wrong. There was a moment where you thought Freezer would have redeemed himself, but nah, this was probably the better way for him to go out. Boom. You fool! And all that stuff. <laughs> Instant moment. You thought Goku killed him, and it looks like he had, but... Obviously, as we know, he didn't. But he huh. definitely gave him bad time. Him anymore. I guess he took the energy and left. Speaking of which, where am I going? Well, of course, ah. Go Goku wouldn't know where he's going. He's like, uh, this is before. We, we, it's been so long that he had instant transmission. You thought that he always had it? Classic anime reactions. Okay, you wait. Goku blew Frieza up. See, was that so hard? Well, not as hard as it's gonna <laughs> it's be like tension on straight, straight talking. It's always Where's needed. Everything looked the same before, and now looks all the same, but on fire! Not quite sure about that delivery, though. I felt like it was just a little bit, like, not quite Goku enough in a way. But, this is always a good scene. One of the big payoffs in the entire season. Where is it? Where is it? It's about to blow! Come on, come on. Here we go! Here we go! There you go. Oh my god. We spent like years getting up to this point. Of course, Zach Manley's excellent overlay. Very nice. That's all Goku wanted. Muffins. It's, it's over. What? Goku could not escape the explosion. Namek is gone. And so is he. And again with the omnipotence no. thing? Surely. Goku it just calls no. the fact that King Kai's omnipotence is not really that great because surely he would have been able to sense that Goku didn't die, but. Dramatic effect, dramatic license, creative license here. Why do you care? Uh, what? Why do any of you care? Are you forgetting the whole reason that they went to Namek in the first place? <laughs> it's exactly it. It just shows that it's Balls. one of the flaws of Dragon Ball. Oh, yeah, death I'll has no it. consequence. Like death and I'm no glad that the characters now, thanks really to us, yeah, in this bit, we're literally yeah, we to go kind back. of call it that out and stuff. Second time. Next time I get a free Sunday. <laughs> huh. Just have Sundays any time, Chelsea, yeah. mate. But what's the difference? So, who wants to tell Bulma? Let me <laughs> do it. Bulma's my girl. Uh, yeah. Okay. I still feel like Go the whole ahead, idea die. of like, yeah, Yamcha should have been with Bulma in my opinion. I, honestly. I just feel like it just I it didn't sit well with me. Like he suddenly cheated huh. on Bulma, the Seems the legit. girl that got him over his fear of girls. Like, why would he then cheat? Oh, hey, I, I, on, I do many discussions about this, hey, girl, but it's just like. Wait, yeah, X? it's just it's What's one of those things very out of yeah, character. It doesn't sit well what? with me in DBZ. DBZ? Sorry. In months. I have been dead. Oh, well, that's not stopping you now, is Good it? point, though. Do not do this right now. Hey, you want to know how this is ending? <laughs> I just feel like Valero's hey, acting for Yamcha in this bit. It really it's sells itself with the despair. Well, then, I guess he's just you can hear his British kid, accent kind of slipping through there when he gets really... Yeah, yeah. It fits really well. Okay, listen. Now one's okay. fatherless, and the Namekians are homeless. So, that's a thing. Now, yeah. if I'm delivering the message, I've got to go cast up Yamcha's leg. Why? Huh. <laughs> that was well, always good. Uh, Gohan, Goku's dead. Damn it! The Namekians, <laughs> your planet blew up. Damn it! So, until delivery's you always great here. Balls, who wants a big old sleepover? You think you can accommodate the entirety of my people? There's only my like a hundred of them. Genius playboy philanthropist. Ah, of course, 2012, back when Avengers was new. God, I feel old. Speak of the Jeez. Devil. Ba back in 2012, when... Jeez. Wait. <laughs> that's a... That's a... That's an eye-opener, not gonna lie. <laughs> Where's my baby? Ah, uh, hey, so Kimlin. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, honey, you say all of these are your friends from high school? Yes, Dad. Tell them to keep out of my scotch. The Classic American pie golf. trope. Tricky bit of putting here. Very difficult to read from this angle, and the greens have been running rather fast today. Maury looks like he's aiming slightly to the right oh, of the yeah. hole, and good for pie. Speaking as a British person, gone. Good job with your British poker. accent there. All right, Sprouts. Lay them on the table. Okay, so there are moments when you <laughs> lip syncs, you yeah. Could have been done there, but oh well. Red Hawk, ben. Yes, but this one has the N word taken out. Piccolo <laughs> did his usual thing. Only with oh company. yeah, so, uh, that's. I think this pretty much set off a trend of like, you know, what does Piccolo do when meditating? And not everyone just says, oh yeah, he's actually napping. Well, you're boring, and you're ruining my meditation. You're not meditating. You're napping. I think it all stemmed from here. Vegeta did what he does best. Sayonara, bitches! Son of a bitch took my scotch! Call me! <laughs> Why would you keep and the scotch in the ship, though? <laughs> or one Namekian year passed, Subliminal Namekian cigarette advertising? Became ready for use. During our time squatting here on Earth, we caught the dragon. I still never really English. get why oh, Bulma well, has to you know, tell everyone her name in her clothes. Oh, still don't really get Wait that. Oh, well. Hey, it's better than, you know, camel. <laughs> It's convenient that they taught, you know, the whole English thing makes it all pay off. Of course, you've got to have a classic trope, you know, dragons, all that stuff. Oh, natural explanation. Godzilla, Godzilla, Godzilla. There you go. So everyone gets it. Oh, it's Godzilla. Okay. All right. It's fine. So there you go. Even the baby's happy. You have summoned the great Baranga. Make your wish and I... Okay, listen, I'm sure you get this a lot, but can we just get, like, six wishes? Because we're just going to bring you back in four months and do this crap again. Plus, we're just bringing some schmucks back to life. Yeah, kind of makes sense. The is unconventional, but considering the ease of these wishes, I will accommodate. End of planet. Well, that's just a dick move. <laughs> oh, right, classic Dembe. All right, one out of the way. Dragon, build the Namekians a new Namek! <laughs> Sweet. Yep. All right. you guys do whatever so, you want. now it's just the whole idea of like, the whole idea of like, bringing people back one person at a time. Yeah, that got conveniently forgotten about afterwards, but I suppose you can just like, use the excuse of like, oh, they probably upgraded the Namekian dragon, knowing that the Earthlings will probably use it a lot of the time. Oh, they just, they, they have to dunk on the armchair, literally dunk him in the water there. Yeah. Like I said, you want to wish your dad back, Dramatic right? Dramatic license, of course, folks. Wish Krillin back. Uh, yeah, just fine. <laughs> we wish back Krillin. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about this bit. It's just like, yeah, he just continues as he ended. Like he he literally was like that when he died. So just he comes back like that. Bring back my dad. back his dad. Big payoff, which does not happen. I cannot do this. I do like the fact that actually the dragons just like they have that idea of that they can generally have wishes declined by the person being subjected to. You just easily say no. So you don't have to just take it. Just like this. Because, you know, Goku's doing his own thing. I think at this point he's like on Yondra at the time. Pardon? He said your father wishes not to return. I heard what he said. I want to go. Go on, just so no, done here. I, remember. I know what he no, said. No, it's like, <laughs> oh, he's just really nettled about this. He doesn't want to come back. End of story. Now, if you have another wish for me, I can try that. Otherwise, fight me. Don't blame him. Gohan, I. Oh, okay. I know it must be hard. This was a thing that didn't end up really going anywhere. Else. Well, it sort of did, but I think. There were things that could have gone even more you, extreme. That, uh, but it is touching, though. I they were really you. good friends here. What? What? What, what did I... Did, did I say it too soon? Oh, God, oh no, the awkwardness. Oh, God, I f***ed it up! <laughs> Take everyone from old Namek and put them on new Namek! Oh, there we go. Yep, just like, if you had the option with Dragon Balls, yeah, just get out of there, Donzo. Oh, there is cast is gone. He doesn't have the cast. Ah, of course. <laughs> the, uh, classic TFS thing. You gotta have something to punctuate the the poignancy. And then, of course, how we ended season this one. Will take me where I need you to get go. season two. Similar duo. 
the hell is that? There we go. A phone? Hey, it's me. Don't oh, is that Manly doing his job again? What the hell is going on? Okay, listen, I think we were all explaining it this. The Dragon Balls to wish back everyone who was killed by Frieza's men. Technically, you worked for Frieza when you killed me. So, bam! Now it's true. Back, baby. I, know, I know that's not what happened in the actual oh, show, you but, you know. Well, technically, I worked for you, but that has changed. I'm in Hollywood now. What, are they yeah. doing a live You may as well do everything that you could do. Ha, you know, that's hilarious. Nappa didn't exist in the actual the show, so after that, so... Do what we want here. So now Nappa exists again. What do you even do? Obviously, Actually, he's a fan favorite too, and project. you know, Ghost Burn Nappa have disappeared. So you've got to find a different guy angle for the guy. By his best friend, but then comes back as a ghost and haunts him. Mm, where have I heard that before? Citizen Nappa. <laughs> Merchandising rights alone are gonna make a f mint. We just signed on this great new actor too. Name is Mark Saint. Oh yeah, no, that that photo that had been doing the rounds back in the day. Just do that think? guy on the Japanese subway, just like exactly like Hercule. It's like nuts. Give me a call. We'll do lunch. Ciao. Hmm. God damn it. Napa. I think that's the last god damn it Nappa that we see. But there we go. That's the end of season two, folks. But then, of course, there is a little bit afterwards. I remember seeing this and it was like, this bit is like, that's dark. Because I was like 13. I'd never seen Dragon Balls. This is really dark. Dragon like, just like, balls. complete, like, half of his face is gone. It's like, got to admit, like, back in the day when you first saw that, that's just nuts. But naturally, you got to add some Star Wars into this. Because this is just the parallels, just too similar. Even though it kind of did it again. Oh, hey, there's Burtonheim again. He somehow survived. You can just naturally hear this, and hopefully this doesn't get copyright claimed. But Still though, even though this is technically a little bit of filler, you know, just to kind of do the explanation, a bit of backstory, it's still really well done, and it still makes a whole lick of sense. There we go, there's my boy. There's my boy Burdenheim. And awake. Now we're gonna do the obvious joke here. What happened to Namek? What happened to the Dragon Balls? It seems, my little princess. Of course. In your anger, you destroyed them both. Oh. No! <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Oh. What a way to end it on. And that's Klingon for It Is Finished. So yeah, that was my commentary of DBZ episode 30. If you want to go and check out the one that Kaiser and Lanny did, go ahead and do that. Or if you've already come back from there, then uh, I hope you enjoyed both of these for all our different takes on it. And if you'd like to check out my channel, just go ahead and check out Master Coex and you can get loads of discussions about Dragon Ball, what is, etc. You name it. I hope you're all having a good holiday season. I hope you're staying safe out there. And I will see you in the next video. Catch you later.